Welcome to the awesomest, awesomest channel ever. Hey guys, and today we're going to talk about the other company making watches in Detroit. So stay tuned, that's coming up right after this. We're going to be talking about the Detroit Watch Company. It's another company that's also making watches in Detroit alongside their bigger neighbor, Shinola. The Detroit Watch Company was founded in 2013 by Patrick and Amy Ayub. Now, they're a little bit different than some of the other companies in that they look to focus specifically on the design of the watch, the artistic aspect of the watch, if you will. The focus of the Detroit Watch Company is to design and come up with a unique element, a unique spirit of a watch that represents an aspect of Detroit, either a historical event or something that's significant to the city. Having said that, they do focus on using quality movements in their watches and they source those from Swiss movements or Japanese movements. They do come up with their own designs, the drawings, the sketches, and they send those to manufacturers after they've picked a movement. Those manufacturers are manufacturers located in Germany, Switzerland, Hong Kong, and Japan. The bands are specifically sourced from Germany. Now, all the parts of this are uniquely designed by them. The dial, the crown, the case, the hands, those are all unique and have been designed by the Detroit Watch Company. They're a very small company in that sense. You can think of them as somewhat of a micro brand. They have limited production every year and their main focus is to keep it that way. Once all the parts are completed, they do bring those back to Detroit and they're then assembled there. Current models include the 1701, the Pride of Detroit, and my personal favorite, the Woodward Chronograph. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these pieces now. First up here, we've got the 1701 Classic. This particular piece is named for the year of Detroit's founding. This piece is $895. It's a relatively bigger size coming in at 44 millimeters. The movement in this is a Miyota mechanical movement on 9132. It does have 28,800 vibrations per hour with a 40 hour power reserve. This particular piece comes in a white dial or a black dial. They're both beautiful. I love the white dial one personally. Uh, it has a date window at the three o'clock position. What I really love is the attention that's paid to the second hand. It has a lovely D logo counterweight that I find particularly appealing. Next up, we have their aviator watch, which is the pride of Detroit. This particular piece was inspired by a series of flying records that was actually set by Edward Schley and Brock in the 1920s and 30s. Their records included some cross-country speed records. Now, Edward Schley was actually a Detroit native and oil millionaire with a thirst for flying. The Pride of Detroit Aviator is a timepiece that symbolizes the adventurous spirit and the strength of our own convictions. The Pride of Detroit Aviator is $795. It's a 44 millimeter. It also has a Miyota Japanese movement with a shock absorber at 21,600 vibrations per hour. This particular piece is also very striking. It is the model that they have with the least variety in the sense that it's only avail available with the black dial. It's got a very clean, simplistic design. You see the same partially skeletal hour and minute hand. The second hand is gorgeous. It has the same D counterweight on it and I particularly like the red tip that provides a very nice contrast to the black dial. While it's simple, I think it's clean, it's sleek, it's classic and this model does also feature a very nicely engraved case back that does highlight the aircraft that the model represents. The final model in their line is my personal favorite and it's the M1 Woodward Chronograph. Now, the M1 Woodward is a highway that was highly notably referred to as Detroit's Main Street, and it was created after a devastating fire that took place in 1805, and it was one of the five principal avenues in Detroit that was devised by Augustus B. Woodward as part of a street plan that was hoping to make Detroit the Paris of the West. The Woodward is $1,850, and it is 44 millimeter. The chronograph has a Salita caliber SW500 automatic movement with a 48 hour our power reserve. This particular model is my absolute favorite. It does come with a very nice variety. You can get a white dial, a blue dial, or a black dial. I am partial myself to chronographs and I do love the white dial. It's my favorite one. 
you get a day and a date complication. You see the same skeletonized hour and minute hands along with the D counterweight. The case back is also nicely done on the chronograph and you see the M1 marking that identifies the model. So which one of these three offerings would you pick, if any at all? Personally, I'd go for the Woodward chronograph. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this close look at the Detroit Watch Company. If you enjoyed the video or liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. For those of you that are on social media, the Amateur Watch Collector channel is now on Instagram and Twitter. So that's it for this episode. CG out.